This is my best friend, Harry. Hey, good to meet you. Good job, huh? Still gonna have time for tutoring? We'll figure it out. I didn't know there were bears in these woods. Hey, MJ, I have another name for you. Craven. He's here on some kind of hunt. You know if you need me, I'm just a call away. Lee, you don't know what you took from me. All Miles talks about is how to be a better Spider-Man. How to help you. What the hell is going on with me? He's not himself. Go help him. This was our dream. I'm not going to lose him. We're going to heal. Remnant 2, players must survive the odds to save humanity from total annihilation. Encounter otherworldly threats, familiar faces, and 
epic showdowns with relentless enemies to put their skills to the test. Despite humanity's tentative foothold on Earth, the threat of the root remains. Players must use world stones to travel to and explore hostile realms. These include Yeisha's corrupted jungles and mysterious ziggurats, Lawson's towering cathedrals and ramshackle villages, and Nerud's forsaken surface and derelict stations. In Remnant 2, staying on the move is essential. Players must sprint out of enemy fire, dodge devastating attacks, and use the environment to their advantage. Study enemy behavior and discover their weaknesses to secure victory. The path forward is unforgiving. Players will need more than their wits to make it back to the fight. Exploring the worlds of Remnant 2 requires keen perception to secure invaluable resources. Players must use consumables to improve combat abilities or cure status effects. Reveal hidden secrets to discover powerful artifacts. And gather crafting materials to enhance their arsenal. The key to success is preparation. Gear up to tackle any obstacle in the way. Exotic firepower awaits, from ancient armaments to alien creations. Players can get up close and personal with melee weapons, like staves and swords. Use heavy armor for a tanky build, or take a more agile approach. Accessories can be mixed and matched for powerful combat bonuses and gear can be crafted and upgraded to suit many playstyles. Versatility is key. Players can face dangers head-on, take threats out from a distance, or bring a faithful friend along for the ride. Whatever the playstyle, archetypes provide the right tools for the job. And each archetype has unique perks and skills to gain the advantage. To survive, choose wisely and find the best combination. Players can either face the fight alone or team up for maximum effect. Whether solo or co-op, the entire story can be experienced as one, two, or three players. Players can set their own difficulty for an authentic remnant experience or a truly apocalyptic challenge. Each campaign is dynamically generated, so players will find fresh encounters every time they play. Unimaginable worlds, unrelenting odds, Remnant 2. about an old lady. That is the last time I let you watch TV that late. Can't you see me? I'm here. It's so dark. I don't want to be here. Yeah. I'm 
sorry, Miss Linda, but there's nothing we can do. According to our tests, he's a perfectly healthy boy, so... But he is getting worse. These nightmares. Once again, I'm sorry. Welcome to the spring of eternity, Sister Dorothea and Brother Gabriel. I hope you'll find him what you're looking for. With this, I accept the eternal city and its doom. With this, I sacrifice who I am and what I own. I submit my past and those who define me to experience the life eternal and timely. Atlas Fallen is an action RPG set in a devastated, sand-covered world, ruled by an almighty and merciless sun god who drains the planet, leaving only dust on the surface. The lands of Atlas are dangerous and mysterious places. They are deadly to errant travelers, and you, until you find a divine artifact. This gauntlet is infused with the power to shape the sand, which might be just enough to face the Sun God's wrath. Combat in Atlas Fallen starts with this gauntlet, your main source of offensive and defensive capabilities. It only takes a simple button press to cast attacks, and you can equip two main weapons at the same time to intertwine powerful combos. Be versatile with the transforming Doom Cleaver, unleash long-range strikes with a Sand Whip, or pound enemies with a flurry of fists using the Knuckle Dust. Mix and match any two of your preferred combat styles, and watch as each weapon evolves during combat, growing larger and more deadly. The action in Atlas Fallen is fast-paced, agile, and intense. Moving freely on most terrain, you rapidly jump into action, evade attacks, dash through the air, and enjoy truly dynamic gameplay. One of the most unique combat features is the momentum. Every successful attack builds your momentum and grants you the ability to perform special attacks or trigger a wide range of effects in combat. The more momentum you have, the more powerful your weapons become. Be careful, however, as the more your momentum increases, the more damage you take. It's an intricate risk and reward mechanic that constantly encourages you to analyze the fight and choose strategically when to cash in on your potential. Momentum is also heavily tied into playstyle customization in Atlas Fallen. On top of armor sets with different stats to collect and upgrade, and idols to pump up your healing abilities, the game also features more than 150 essence stones to completely shape your own way to play. A sandstorm that blows away everything in its path. A giant hammer falling from the sky. Mind traps. A great swirling kick. A leap forward to rush into action, throwing devastating projectiles to keep your distance. The list goes on and on and on. Every Essence Stone combination offers a new way to enjoy fighting in Atlas Fallen. Whether you're an aggressive player or you prefer shields, debuffs, and healing, momentum is also cashed out for truly devastating attacks that obliterate enemies. These consume your entire bar but always deal incredible damage to help you shatter body parts. All these combat tools and abilities will be crucial to face a wide bestiary of wraiths. 
From packs of small monsters lurking beneath the sand, to gigantic bosses with more advanced movesets, combat requires you to adapt and play wisely. Target and attack specific body parts to incapacitate larger raids, disabling their attacks, and making them drop unique resources to further increase your potential. Of course, you don't have to be alone to face the gods. Atlas Fallen is fully playable in online two-player co-op mode, from start to finish with the least amount of restriction possible. Join any friend to enjoy the full story campaign together, and create builds with strong synergies thanks to diverse essence stones designed with cooperation in mind. Protect each other. Heal your partner's wounds. Atlas Fallen Co-op provides a fun and refreshing way to enjoy your journey. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more information and details about Atlas Fallen. The battle between good and evil is eternal. Selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Yes! Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. Surrender if you wish to remain unharmed. Let us pass, Tanya. The Empress and her family are in danger. Are you so easily taken in by lies? Let's see if you still fight like an Umgadi. My edge hasn't dulled, Tanya. Once again, you prove incapable of protecting the royal house. Are you unwell, Princess? Uh, I am fine, Tanya. For you to hold the throne, we must keep you.
your secret. With Liu Kang's help, maybe they'll find a cure. If he could have helped, he would have done so by now. We are victims of Tarkat. It disfigures, then debilitates. In time, it will turn us all into bloodthirsty monsters. Death is our only release. There are some books that, despite the passage of time, still convey messages and themes that are relevant today. One such book is Stanislav Lem's The Invincible. Now saying that, we feel that this iconic work of hard sci-fi has been somewhat forgotten. That's why we are doing our best to make sure that the game we are creating, which is inspired by this novel, intrigues and contributes to the important reflections on the nature of humankind and life itself. My name is Mihal, and for the next few minutes, I would like to invite you to dive into the Invincible story, to look behind the narrative curtain, and to meet us, the game's creators. From the very first moments of working on the script, we wanted players to feel that the mysteries of Regis Free are authentic, bespoke to the player's actions, immersive, and part of the overall experience. An experience that's full of emotion, and with elements of surprise, regardless of whether the player has read the book or not. The story we will find in the game is faithful to Lem's spirit, conveying the most important points in the course of the story, but it's told from the point of view of a new character. The hero of our story is called Jasna. She's a woman of science, focused on exploring and investigating. However, through a series of events, she must undertake a rescue mission beyond her previous experiences. Initially, driven by a sense of responsibility for the crew and professionalism, she strictly follows her astrogator's orders. But as the story progresses, under the pressure of events, her own intuition and her tendencies towards irony or bravado come into play. But also, doubt creeps in at certain times, in oneself, in humanity, or in science. Much will depend on the choices that you as the player will make. In The Invincible, you'll have a real impact not only on the plot, but also on other characters. And the most important of them is the rather conservative and skeptical astrogator Novik, your commander. He is the voice that stays with you almost throughout the whole time you're on Regis Free, And he himself also evolves under the influence of your actions and events in the game. You'll debate with him on world views, play a psychological mind game or two, and you'll also get to know his other side, which is hidden behind the facade of Riga. The Invincible is on many levels a story of evolution. The narrative combines scientific phenomena, moral dilemmas, and paints a picture of human attitudes when in contact with the strange and the unknown. We hope that the actions that you take in the game, which culminate in more than a handful of possible endings, will cause you to reflect on humanity, its best qualities, and also on its destructive tendencies. And we hope that The Invincible will be the kind of story that you will return to within your thoughts long after the credits roll.
Seeing you walk around this place brings back memories. The train will take us to a place where science and art meet nature. Ah, these are interesting experiments. And I like that they're reliant on creativity. <laughs> I'll make sure to keep an eye out and see how this experiment might blossom. This is incredible. The system is self-learning, ever-growing. But I see now. There is no singular truth, no perfect answer. It's falling apart. What are we doing? This can't be the end of everything we've worked for. All the research, all the memories. We need to keep pushing forward. Thank you for stopping by. Niente di più facile. Claudio Serafina! Luce di Sirio, risplendi al massimo. C'è spazio per i dilettanti. Era il mio dovere. This is the front. The bulk of the Light's army musters there, ready for the big push. I've run through the war games countless times. When Sandrak had the Binding Stone, our chances were slim to none. All these soldiers, when you look at them, Jack, what do you see? <laughs> I, I know you want me to say I see loyalty or, or duty or something like that. All right, that way I can step into some irony or whatever you can use to... Look, I know you're using this as some kind of preamble to tell me you're angry with me. I am goddamn furious. I'm sorry. I got to the Shrine Forge and... And there was a choice I could make. No, there wasn't. There wasn't a choice. Who told you there was a choice? Zendara, you were as field commander. Did you get to the Shrine Forge and say, make it up as you go along? No, sir. Our objective was to figure out a way to destroy the Binding Stone. Then why is it in my war chamber, commander? I gave no indication that we were to deviate from that objective, sir. So you're telling me that you're unable to control your people. Is that it? Don't yell at her. I did it. Chain of command, Jack. And I'm getting to you. Okay, okay. If I can just say one thing. That right there is unnecessary with that right there. I got us control of the ultimate weapon. And we can roll right now into Rashan by ourselves and force their surrender without firing a shot. Oh, you've got it all worked out. I didn't realize that. Am I the only one in the room that sees the last 24 hours as an unbelievable victory? I mean, what part of Ultimate Weapon don't you like? The part where it's a corrupted Aristean artifact, Jack. When we all know Aristean is really just another word for weapons from yesteryear that we are absolutely unprepared for. Maybe you're unprepared. And you aren't? When I found you, the only thing you were prepared for was exploding and taking the rest of Saren with you. The last time I talked with Sandrak, he pulled the same you wouldn't exist without me lecture you are. So you're a little late to the party, sir. 
you will go back to the Shrine Forge and get the mark you were ordered to in the first place. Can't do it. And then you will come back here and destroy this thing. Oh, no, I'm, I'm being for real. I, I can't. The machine, it, well, it, it broke. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Are you serious right now? I'm not. And I am. All right, and I can control it. Why can't you see that? You can't control it. No one can. What if Sandrak really isn't gone, and he gets it back? What then? It stays here, under lock and key. Take it to the vault. You're making a mistake. Take it to the goddamn vault! <laughs> 